Hello, my fabulously fashionable viewers, and welcome to A Fashion Forward, A Tale of Two Shoes, also known as Figuring Out Trends. Um, first and foremost, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I know this video is a bit late, uh, and I did say in my last video that because of packing and because of trying to find a job, that um, the time that I have in order to actually do this and the product I have to work with, because my wardrobe is slowly being packed up, um, may be somewhat limited, but I will keep you up to date and will continue to try and fulfill the obligation I've made to you, my wonderful viewers, to do a video every second Thursday. So, now that that's out of the way, on to the shoes. So this shoe, as you can tell, it has a strap around the ankle, it is a wedge heel, it's got um, this kind of ropey lining, it's got kind of glitz to it, and it's very lovely. This shoe was purchased back in 2017. 2007 um, from a little boutique in Athens, Greece. The shoe came from Athens. I literally climbed a mountain in these shoes. But as you can see, the roping is kind of coming off. Um, the bottom of them, they are well worn. Um, and even just the general, like it's, it's suffering some wear and tear. Of course, it's been around since 2007. So to my deepest and oh and then there's like no there's like no grip on the heel anymore either anyway so it was my deepest sorrow to have to retire these shoes because frankly they're just as they're incredibly comfortable but they're falling apart and that makes it difficult to wear them last year so 2012 i went shopping with some girlfriends at a local urban planet i don't know if you have that where you live and i found this shoe look familiar now it's got the strap it's got the roping it's got the like crisscross here it's black the only thing it's missing is the sparkle and it is a little bit taller but as you can see they're pretty darn close and this is a big deal because when I brought this shoe back from Greece people made fun of me people were super mean and they're like wedges aren't even popular that look will never be in and lo and behold, a couple of years later, in the stores, there's the wedge. So I bought this pair to replace my worn out pair. I have to get some, I have some uh, like moleskin um, to put in because it does, that's the one difference, is that the Greek shoe on here, on the inside, I don't know if you can see, it's very soft. It's incredibly soft. It doesn't wear at your feet. Whereas this one, I don't know what the difference is, but this band is not so soft, and so it does, like, rub your ankle raw. The point of this is not my wonderful taste in shoes, or even the fact that I was right and was just a couple years in advance. The point is, trends come and go. They circulate, they repeat. People make a killing off of trying to predict which trends are going to be big in the fashion industry so that they can one-up the competition. And that's wonderful, but it also means that sometimes you're going to be way ahead of the game by a couple of years, or you're going to catch on to a trend right at the tail end of it. For example, I only got into wearing skinny jeans right when people started moving into jeggings, and then I discovered the skinny jean and just thought they're fantastic. I have yet to embrace the jegging. In my mind, it's a legging, it's not a pant. And despite looking like a jean, it's not a jean. So, to me, I think that it's really important that you can bring on as many fashions as you like, or as many trends as you like, but follow the ones that suit you, that are comfortable to you, whether that means that you're coming in at the end or getting a head start on something that could potentially be popular. Don't let people put you down or tell you that the way that you look or the way that you're dressing is out of fashion, because you know what? Fashion goes around all the time. The only thing we might not see again is like those huge Marie Antoinette poofy dresses. And even then, have you seen some of the prom and wedding dresses? They have their place still. So don't feel bad if you have bought the shoe a couple of years early because, you know, someone down the line may be wearing the exact same pair and you had it way before they did. That just means you're more fashionable or that you're more original or unique. And all of those things are totally wonderful. If it's making you feel confident, if it's making you feel comfortable, go ahead and rock that look, except for maybe neon spandex. And that should just... That should just not be a thing, in my opinion. Or or maybe like limited, small, tiny amounts of it. 
but that's a different video. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, let me know what your favorite trend or style to wear is, and is it one that you've adopted in the trend or out of the trend? In the comments down below, like and subscribe, and that is all. So keep your best fashion forward, and I'll see you in two weeks, I guess. Okay, bye.